What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch back here with Dilly Vanilli. Dilly Vanilli, a Kansas City Chief, has left mm -hmm. and has gone to the Buffalo Bills. Kind of a weird distant destination switch. Yes. But Mitch Morse has signed with the Buffalo Bills, and I think this is a good signing. The money is out there right now. It was a... Four-year, $44 million contract, so 11 per if I'm just going off of that. Seems like a little bit rich for a center, but Mitch Morse is a good one. I would say he's one of the better pass-protecting centers in the game. PFF gave him 13th overall grade. Looking at his pass block number, he was in the top five, so his pass blocking, pretty good for the Chiefs last year. You could question, though, was that a lot of Andy Reid? Was that a lot of Patrick Mahomes? Or was that Mitch Morse? That remains to be seen. But again, the Bills, another team with a lot of salary cap they needed to spend, and they need to spend to get players to come to their team. Let's be quite honest with you. So I think this was a position they desperately needed, and we've talked how they really need to upgrade that offensive line, Dylan. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this move, Mitch Morse, to the Bills? Well, the Bills have been pretty busy today. This is their third signing, the third person we're talking about. Um, their biggest one, though, because the other two were Frank Gore and Tyler Croft. So definitely the biggest one we've got here for the Bills today. Four years, $44 million. Um, weird. I don't really know why. The, yeah, this kind of, much, right? It's a little much for me. Not, not my personal liking here. Uh, Kansas City's offensive line was really good last year, though. If there's one compliment, maybe the Bills were thinking, well, this offensive line was pretty solid. They got the job done. They're running back, whoever it was last year, Hunt throughout the first half, and then uh, Williams in the second half was pretty efficient uh, with them. So maybe that was the case for giving them that money. Uh, also kind of weird, the fact, like you brought up, why is Morse going from the Chiefs to the Bills? The money. It has to be the money. I don't... But it's so weird. Like, you just almost tasted success, and now you're going to the Bills. Again, look, the Bills can be good. I mean, they're trying to build something here, but it's just a weird kind of thing for me. However, the team that's the thing that's going to benefit the most is the Bills because he is a good center. Uh, like you said, he's a good pass blocker, one of the best in the game at pass blocking. Rush game, I think he's probably top 10 in there, somewhere around there for the centers. And, you know, they need that offensive line help. You know Josh Allen's going to run a lot, so – having him there is going to help get Josh Allen a couple more rushing attempts. And also, uh, he was getting pressured like an M after when he was playing. So a guy like Mitch Morse is going to be able to stop some guys from trying to sack Josh Allen because it was one of the worst when he was playing. So I like the contract, just a, a little too much money for my liking, uh, but I like Mitch Morse as a player, so we'll see how it goes. I can't underestimate the factor of a center and their help with – protections and just helping a young quarterback get through those sort of audibles at the line checks at the line and helping with the offensive line and the protections so Josh Allen will definitely be benefit from this move we've seen already that the Bills are trying to create and help their young quarterback and this move will definitely help not only from the physical aspect of the game for blocking for him but mentally as well helping him with the checks and audibles uh, let us know what you guys think about this move mitch morse four years the buffalo bills let us know in the comment section below gronk spike that like button subscribe to the channel for more it's mitch and dilly vanilly peace